we launched a tasty pastry. It's a low carb pop tart. It's got three to four grams of net carbs. And we love this show. This is our best place to be in LA. Welcome back to Legendary Foods Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Thursday, December 2nd, 2021. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. If you woke up today feeling like you needed a little extra juice to get yourself going, well, you're in the right place because we got this brand new update from Nathan DeAsha to get you started today. On Monday, Nathan released his new clip of himself knocking out 405 for reps on the bench, saying, so the work has begun. All things considered, this was probably one of the best years of Nathan's career from a competitive standpoint, especially considering how tumultuous things have been for him over the last 18 months. So if he can put together another good stretch of distraction-free training, he's going to be a serious problem for people at some point next season. That shot of Nathan wasn't enough to get you out of that Thursday morning funk. This new clip of Brandon Curry should get the job done. On Monday, Brandon also released a handful of new updates, including this clip from one of his latest chest training sessions, where we see the former champ looking like he hasn't missed a beat since he wrapped up his season a few weeks ago. One thing you can never say about Brandon is that he doesn't know how to make improvements because every year he comes back with one or two new tricks up his sleeve. And as long as he doesn't start to lose steam on his fastball, I think we should all expect to see him right back in that championship hunt again next season. Speaking of not losing any steam on your fastball, have you guys seen what Franciel Matos has been doing lately? The reigning and defending champ of the wellness division has basically been hitting triple digits on the Raider gun every time she steps into the gym, which should be a scary thought considering the fact that we have a handful of athletes from this year's top five group still competing late into the season. Before the start of the year, Franciel was one of the athletes we spotlighted as a potential title contender. And right now you're looking at the reason why. She consistently brings the heat day in and day out. And in this division, consistency is the name of the game. And finally, we're getting out of here today by sending a big get well soon shout out to another one of wellness divisions finest, the good doctor, Sonny Andrews, who recently had to be hospitalized after being diagnosed with a serious case of rhabdomyolysis. For those of you who watch the show every week, you know that Sonny's competed in four or five shows already since the Olympia. And unfortunately that seems to have really taken a toll on her body, but thankfully she'll be okay. And after a little bit of good old fashioned R&R, &R, she should be able to slowly ease herself back into training once she gets the okay from her medical team. So from all of us over here at RX Muscle, we wish you a speedy recovery and hope that you'll be back sooner than later. Get well, champ. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.